last week on assassins well in the rules it says that if you do anything illegal then you're disqualified and putting a tracker on yeah. someone's car is illegal and her boyfriend walks <laughs> out of the house completely stares us down we're like see the back realizing that we're just casually sitting in front of our assassin's house god <laughs> Oh my god, we're moving we're on moving to the on. next round. We have to do this for another week. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Assassin's Week 2. If you haven't watched Week 1, I highly recommend it, especially because I explained the entire game and the rules, which I'm not going to go over now because most of you already know. There are some new rules that are like introduced in here that I left out in the first video because they didn't apply, but they apply in this video. But like, I kind of walk you through it. When we get to that point, I honestly did not film as much at the beginning of this week at all because at the end of the first week, I was so exhausted. I was so tired of filming. So like another vlog was not on my mind at all, but I'm really glad I ended up filming at the end because that's honestly where everything happened. And then you guys liked the first video so much. And then I filmed week three a lot. So like week one happened over a bunch of days. Week two happened literally in just like one night. Um, and then week three was like really intense. So like I was gonna combine week two and week three, but week three is so much footage. And then like week two, I don't know. So this is just week two, even though I wanted to give you both week two and week three today, but like it would have been way longer. Week three is honestly my least favorite because it was so stressful, but that video will be coming up next. But right now for week two. So, so at this point in the game, just the way the game works, naturally there's less Less than 50% of the people still playing in week two than there was in week one. What I've heard, I never got the official numbers, but in week one there was about 150 teams, and then in week two there was about 60 teams. At this point, a lot of people are kind of over it. Like, like when you're not in the game, you don't care anymore. So week one, it, everyone was talking about it, and week two is kind of like only a few people were talking about it, and no Twitter accounts, no leaks, no anything, which made it a lot harder, especially because we didn't even know who our targets were. We got assigned to soft Sasha and Marcus and immediately like I had no idea <laughs> not that I like I knew who they were but I like had no idea like what they do what car they drive anything and so we were kind of like okay like this is it like there's no way we're getting our targets out and then Griffin Mia's boyfriend texted us on Sunday Tyler and Griffin had us they were our assassins and at that point they were tired of it and Griffin is Mia's boyfriend he was like I'm not gonna shoot you guys like we're over it you guys can try to get your targets like maybe we'll buy you out later um buyouts okay buyouts I did not talk about in the first video but they're kind of prominent in this video and that was Mia and I's goal in the first place to kind of get bought out that's kind of a lot of people's goals in this game is to just get bought out for the amount of money that you spent on the game but I'll get more into buyouts later so the main thing is that our assassins were not shooting us and we didn't know who our targets were so at the beginning of this week it felt like honestly that we weren't playing the game anymore because I wasn't worried about my assassin shooting me like Mia was hanging out with Griffin all the time and they just like he just wasn't shooting her so like it was obvious that he they were just not going to shoot us so me and I are busy people we're <laughs> at practice all the time so we were like okay we'll try later this weekend if we want to get them but like we're not into it so that's where this footage starts off okay <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Thursday into the um, week. We haven't gotten our targets at all because we basically got two people that we don't even know. He is in the shop. She's still my partner. I just added my target on Snapchat. Like, what are you doing? I want to get to school. Yeah. <laughs> what type of party are you driving? What's your address? Is for your location on Snap Maps. Oh yeah? He probably is in ghost mode. You'd be dumb to have your location on at this point. Is he there? That's so awkward. I don't know if that's him, that might be him. Wait, is that him? Who is that? Oh God. <laughs> I ran into Sasha on my way out of school after I had just added him on Snapchat and then he just Snapchatted me and he said what's your offer so he knows that we have him and he's just looking for us to buy him out which isn't gonna happen not gonna happen because I'm not spending more money to be in this stressful game that I don't even care about anymore. Hi vlog, this is like crazy. Okay guys, we were given up for the night and then Sasha, literally an idiot. Hi, if you're watching this, you're an idiot. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, like I'm not trying to be rude at all, but why would you post on your story? The 
mattress that you're at on a Friday night when you're playing Assassin's. Okay, let's back up a bit. So we had gotten Marcus's address, but we still didn't know where he was. So they kept asking us to buy them out and give up, but we weren't going to do that until the last possible second. So we had Amy Snapchat Sasha to see if he'd accidentally give her information. He didn't know who she was and it invited her to the party, but it didn't really matter because he posted the address anyways. Why would you please tell me like, or you can tell me when I'm about to shoot you right now because we're outside the house that you posted on your story. <laughs> We're waiting for him to text Amy back and then we're gonna go like be like we're Amy's gonna, gonna be like oh I'm outside and then we're just gonna shoot him and it'll hopefully be successful. We needed to get him to walk out. No, we need to because we can't shoot him on his property. We have to yeah. go to the sidewalk. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we got outside of the car and we waited in front of the house while we were texting him to come outside because we couldn't go on private property. So I yeah, feel, it's shoot. really dark. I feel like we're not gonna know if it's him. No, I know. And we started talking to some people that were also outside who were attending attending the party and they informed us that the party was open invite so technically we were invited onto the property so we decided to just go in <laughs> We shot Sasha, and the stupid part is, not Sasha just telling us his address, but Marcus was also there, and we didn't shoot him. I know, that sounds crazy, because why wouldn't we shoot him? I don't know. Wait, let me go on a little rant. In this clip, my craziness at this point in the game is really showing through, but I felt like it described the situation really well, so. And both of my targets were there. Both of my targets were there. And I shot one of them and he turns around and he said, this is an assassin's free zone. But he was at a party for a different school. So it's not assassin's free because it was assassin's free for that school, but not for Kai because there was less than time people there and then marcus my other my other target he comes up and he's like hey want to buy us out like this doesn't count and so me and me are like hmm like we'll think about it i guess this doesn't count and then i sent the video to the godfather and it did count and marcus was right there and i should have just i should have just shot him why didn't i shoot him and now i have until 12 o'clock tonight to shoot marcus when he was right in front of me last night so here's when the buying out thing comes into place. It was Saturday and we obviously weren't gonna get Marcus. Like that night was the like craziest coincidence ever that we got Sasha in the first place. And again, we should have shot Marcus. I know Sasha was stupid for posting his address, but we were even more stupid for letting Marcus like literally talk us out of shooting him. Like we should have just been like, oh, we'll shoot you just in case. But we didn't because like he literally just talked us out of it. Ugh, I don't know. I don't like thinking about it. It makes me mad. Marcus continues and asks us. He's like, buy us out. Like we're not going to get our targets. So after a lot of negotiating, we're awful at negotiating. Marcus was really good at negotiating. We Venmoed Marcus $30 to say that he got shot and so we would move on to the next round i got shot and honestly okay i can see how this seems like we're cheating our way through the game and everything and me and i for the longest time we were like we're never gonna buy someone out like that's so stupid i literally said at the beginning of the video i mean like we're not playing the game right if we just buy our way through the game that's not really how the game should be played but at this point like on saturday we were so like into the game and the fact that we got Sasha in the first place we were all like okay we kind of deserve to be in this game right now like we shot our target like our second target was right there it was just a lapse of judgment of us not shooting him and so that's why we like decided to buy them out and like spend money on the game more money than was already spent like there are some people at this point who literally have never shot any of their targets and who have bought their way through this entire game because the prize money is so big people feel like it's okay to spend money on the game i don't know i'm trying to justify us buying them out because i always said that we were not gonna buy them out and like i felt like that was just like you shouldn't buy your way through this game and we kind of did but at the same time like marcus was right in front of us and like we got one of our targets it's not like we were buying both of them out so yeah we're moving on to the next round and week three is so much more interesting i promise also i know a lot of you have been asking for the rules the rules for my team have like a lot of information about my school and like my city and where i live so i'm going to try to edit all that out and post in week three it is really fun you just need good people running it our godfathers honestly weren't that great but there'll be more of that in week three yeah that was week two it definitely was not as stressful as week one and nothing compared to week three but standing outside of that house <laughs> was the most stressed i've ever been like i should have taken more videos outside of that house but it was just really dark and there was like we're outside of a party mia amy and i are just not like 
used to that scene um, at all and so we were very uncomfortable and like very outside of our comfort zone. Um, we were in this a whole different town um, at this party for this school that we didn't even know. <laughs> it was definitely a really fun and good experience but it definitely was way out of our comfort zone and I was not expecting any of that to happen. Like me and I had totally given up. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.